everyone, it's Cindy A. Lewis, and today in this video, I am going to show you how to make your own digital uh, images with things that you make and from anything that you have at home. So what you're going to need is some papers, some kind of papers, some ribbon or lace or anything that you have on hand or pick up at the Dollar Tree. I have this, I have this lace, this is really old and I have this that I had picked up a long time ago on clearance. Um, I picked this one up from Dollar Tree. Really cute. You're going to need some glue and adhesive. Maybe a little hot glue but maybe not. I do have my new tag maker if I want to make any tags but basically you're going to need some type of ephemera or stickers and you can sew or glue however you want to. And we're just gonna make a few. We're gonna make four, and then I'm gonna show you how to digitize them. You do have to have a scanner and a computer if you want to save the images, but you can save them onto flash drive if you have a scanner, or you can actually take them down to a, um, you know, Kinko's or somewhere, and they can scan them for you. Or you can take a picture with your camera and then transfer them from there. All right, so I'm gonna pick out some papers and then we're gonna get started. Okay, so once you've picked out your papers, you want to cut them in varying sizes because we're gonna make four different sizes today. I'm just gonna cut this uh, to, let's see, want four inches by, uh, let's do four by six, or maybe we could do, uh, yeah, four by six is a good size. And you can use these for anything. And once you create them, then you preserve them and your digital uh, imagery in your, you know, digital files. And then you can use them over and over and over in different, um, you know, journals, scrapbook pages, uh, however you want to use them, making cards. So anyway, I've got two here, and this is really cute paper. So I'm just gonna cut this um, right here. We're gonna make different sizes. So you can make them any size you want. I'm gonna cut this one to three inches here. If you have a sewing machine, you can sew paper. Did you know that? All right, so I've got those. I have this beautiful rose paper that I'm going to cut um, probably here. Let's try, I'm not even really measuring, I'm just picking some sizes. And I wanna make them big enough, you know, but we really only need to make four tonight. You can use these to make pockets, whatever you'd like to do. You can make them any size. I can show you here. So I've got all these different backgrounds. And then if your paper has any kind of, um, decorative tags or anything like that, you can utilize those as well. I just wanted to show you that. We're not gonna use the decorative tags tonight, but we are gonna use some ephemera. So I'm gonna remove my cutter and put it to the side. I have another DIY in the works, but anyway. Okay, we'll start with this one. Now you can see this is kind of a plain piece, but we wanna decorate it and I have all these different decorative pieces, some flowers, and I really love vintage. So if you've ever watched any of my videos, you, you notice that I just I turn, I age them a lot. So I have some beautiful flowers here. These are really pretty. Okay, so now I have a lot to choose from here. And I'm gonna take my page and, uh, well, my background. This is my base. And I'm just gonna take some ribbon. So let's say if I wanted to use this ribbon, and like I said, you can sew it on or glue it. It doesn't matter. We're gonna glue today because I don't wanna pull out the sewing machine. So I have my ribbon and I'm gonna put a piece right here. So I need to cut it to fit. I'm gonna cut this side. And then I'm going to glue this down. And you could do it like this, you know, all the way or whatever, but I'm gonna glue it here. So I'm gonna take, this is my, uh, what I like, the Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue. 
and I'm going to put it all on the back here and glue it down. We have a, some starting here of a base, and I want to put some flowers or something on here. That's cute too. Our home. But I think I'd like to take maybe this this bird here in this flower and put it on here and it can be very very simple so what I want to do though is take my glue and glue that down doesn't require a lot you can use it other adhesive if you want if you want to make it aged I use the cocoa dye ink ink pad and a blending tool that I a homemade blending tool that I made and and then it just, that's your tag. You can add more to it. You can put string, you can put lace, whatever. And then you can digitize it by, well, scanning it. So let's make our other one. And I do want to show you some other tags that I had made. And this is not a tag, of course. This would just be like a pocket or something. But here's some tags that I've made in the past. This one has a pocket on it. And then this tag, now I can digitize these. I can take these out and digitize or digitize with them in there. And then this one, and then this cute little ladybug one. All right, so I'll show you all of that. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna take another one. All right, so we've got all these different papers that we cut. So we have this cute flower, and this is really beautiful. And we can do whatever we want. This is just a, our base for decorating. Now, if we wanted it to be this way, don't know that I really want that. So, I just want to play with it a little bit. So, I'm going to take some of this Rick Rack that is very old. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to glue it down all the way down here. It looks very beautiful and dainty. I really like that. So I'm going to do that. You could do two. You could do one. It's whatever you want to do. I mean, really and truly, this is your world, and you're using things that you have. So you're just using something that you have from your stash and creating something really beautiful that you can use in the future. And not only are you creating these for now, but then you preserve them and you can use them again on another project and you never lose them because you digitize them. All right, so there we go, recording. Okay, let's use this um, candy paper and I'll just show you all the ones that I create. And I love this Rick Rack, so we're gonna use it. Or if I can find the end of it, here it is. And we're just gonna put a little piece here and then I'm going to cut a second one because I just really like this Rick Rack. All right and then I'm going to glue that down. So I'm just going to put the glue on the back of the Rick Rack. This glue holds really well and I'm going to glue it down here and you can do anything that you want. This is your canvas, this is your world. All right. Okay, not sure. Okay, so I wanna do this. All right, and then finish this off here so you can see. <clears throat> all right then trim it I like to trim it anyway all right so one thing that I want to do and I wanted to show you is um, the aging so I'm going to take a homemade tool that I made to do the blending on okay so what I do is I just ink up my little tool that I made and I just bring in the edges like this just rub it across the edges you can do it as much or as little as you like now because my lace is not really aged I want to give it a little so I'll just rub it over it like that 
and you can add more or less, however much you like. I really do like that. And then what I'll do is anything that I add to this, I will also age the edges. So like, this is really, really cute. Good food for life. I really like that. And we could do it over here, over the lace, or just right onto, right on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this tool over it. If I need more ink, I just grab it off my ink pad. <clears throat> There's one thing too, if you're gonna age something, you wanna age everything that's on that page. Okay, this one has a little hole in it, the tag, I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna put some glue, you could also use regular adhesive for it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and put it on here. And I'm creating my own. So here's one, here's another one that I've created tonight, and here's another one, very simple. Now let's do one more. Let's take this, let's take this square flower here. All right, let's age this one and see how that looks. You can age anything, and it really looks pretty. So you can see the difference when I put them next to each other. All right, so this is really pretty, and what I wanna do with this one, do I wanna put some lace on it? I do have this little piece of lace, and it's kind of crinkly, which would be really pretty, almost like a flower. And then I have I have all kinds of stuff over here. This really pretty flower, but I don't want to take away from that one. How about accent it with a blue, a couple of blue ones, and then this little piece of lace, and then we also have this piece. You never want to waste anything. So let's do this. Let's age these roses here and give them some of our cocoa dye ink. Right? Okay, now what I wanna do is I wanna take this little piece, don't wanna waste it, and I wanna glue it down first because it's gonna be part of the background. And I'm just gonna glue it here like that. Okay, there's a little bit of wire. I wanna make sure I cut that off or cover it up. All right, so I got that glued. Now I've got my flowers, and I have to decide how do I want them on the page, All right? Okay, so glue your flowers down. I like that one there, and then I think I'll put the big one on, on kind of on top of it, so I like that. It's all whatever you like. You can do it however you want to. All right, so I'm just gonna do this. So we actually have this flower that's in the background, this one, and then these two really pretty blue ones. And then I have this extra lace here, and like I said, it looks kinda like a flower itself. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna glue it on right here on the edge. So I'm gonna take a little hot glue to hold that. I have my hot glue gun over here. If you do use hot glue, be very careful not to burn yourself. I tend to do that. All right, so then we have that. Now, if you want more up here, you could add whatever you want, but I'm also happy with it, you know, or if there was something little. I don't really know if I have anything little. So I like it. I'm just gonna go with this. All right, so we have our four different ones we're gonna make tonight. This one. This one, this one, and this one. So now we're gonna scan them to digitize them. Okay, so first I'm going to scan in my tags that I made, because I really like them and I want to scan them in. So I'm gonna show you two times. So uh, I have a printer that has a scanner and I've got a USB plugged into it. 
and I'm going to open the lid and I'm going to put my tags just on here randomly and take this little piece out. You don't want, if you do scan tags, you don't want the string necessarily hanging out. All right. Now it may get the bottom, but you can always cut that off. All right, so set them on your page like that. And then if you can see down here, there is scan and scan to USB. And I'm gonna have it scan 150 scan resolution into a, a PDF. Now I can also scan it to other file types. So I'm gonna show you that <clears throat> if I wanna change it. And I just go back and I say scan to USB and then settings. <clears throat> So I can change the resolution, I can change the file type, and I'm gonna say JPEG, because I actually want it to be a picture. I can change anything, and I can just say scan, and it's going to scan for me. And I'll show you what it looks like in just a moment. All right, so I'm gonna take those out. Now if you want to take a picture with your phone, you can do the same thing. You just lay them out face up, on a counter that has not uh, much on the background or on a piece of paper. And then that way you can, <coughs> you can uh, scan them on your phone into a file. So I'm just gonna take these and, and lay them out. And these are um, not gonna fit too well. So let's do this. Let's take that one out. And I'm gonna put this one and this one here and it should fit. Now you know your paper size is usually eight and a half by 11. So you wanna make sure that you have the right paper size. So I'm gonna do scan, scan to USB. And I've already got it on JPEG now. So I'm gonna just click scan. And now my printer is actually scanning my files. Okay, so that is done. And I'm gonna take them off and close that up and I'll show you how they scanned. Okay, now I'm gonna show you um, the images that are on the scan that we just did to digitize our images. Okay, so I'm gonna not do that. And I'm gonna go to my file, to my USB which I have to find it. <clears throat> All right, here is my HP scans on my, <clears throat> let's see, look for today. And here it is. And here you can see we digitized what I had made with the tags and they look so pretty on here. They really do, <laughs> they look really nice. So then I can use this, I can print them out and attach and, you know, glue them, use them in another project. So let me show you the, the next one. And here's the other one that we made. And then you can just cut out the pieces that you want to use in your next project and you've preserved what you just made and you digitized it and you can save it forever and use it again and again and again. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on creating some images and digitizing them and that you'll give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel and come back tomorrow because I'm working on another craft DIY for you that you're gonna love. Thank you, bye-bye.